Awesome work. Thank you so much for coming on the show. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. You're looking you. lovely in blue. Thank you. Which is my favorite color. Oh, nice. Masiwa Regi came with her husband, but they decided <laughs> that he's not going to come on. Congratulations on your marriage. Thank you. How is he doing? He's doing well. Yeah. Anaitu anani, anafanya nani, wapi. Okay, my husband is called Pastor Seth Jenga from House of Grace Church. He's a pastor, clearly. <laughs> and you're also a pastor? Yes, I at am. At House of Grace? Yes. So did you guys meet in the church? Yes, we did. But we were pastors, we were pastors differently, mm -hmm. so we just got to meet. So basically, the moral of this story, Kenya, <laughs> is that you should serve in church. Because, <laughs> because pastors find each, find each other there. Yeah. That's the moral of the story. Yes. <laughs> you have won multiple awards. You have done great, great music. Mm -hmm. Have you done it all? Or there's more to do? I, there's a lot more to do. It, this is just a drop in the ocean. Um, I'd say by the grace of God, we um, have been able to at least do two albums. Mm -hmm. And I believe God for more and more and more. I'll sing until the last day of my life. Where can people buy your music? <laughs> Where do people buy your music? Um, you can get it at the Tusky stores, you can get it at Kasangas, and many other stores uh, that are closer to us. So just check out your nearest store, music store, and you never know, they could probably have it. Do you see a lot of sales? Do Kenyans support your music? Well, yes, yes, yes and no. Uh, I'd say before a Kenyan can walk into a music store, it takes a bit of time. Right. But they are buying music somehow. Uh, so the easiest way these days has been to get the music available to them where they are. 
Yeah. So that's a good thing. Mm. Let's talk about what you choose to talk about in your music. Yes. And gospel artists are now criticized of having become commercialized and forgotten the message. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that as well? Um, yes and no. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think there's still people who are keeping it uh, what it should be. And that's the gospel, preaching the gospel and spreading good, good news of hope. Uh, but there is always all this controversy. Uh, some of them have just been misunderstood, but some of them probably don't quite have mentorship to help them get there, mm -hmm. where they are able to communicate what they want to communicate in the best way. So I think most of the artists are trying really hard. Um, and, and at the end of the day, like Paul said in the Bible, the gospel is still being preached. Yes. <laughs> as long as it's being preached, no matter how it's being preached at some point, you just have to allow it to go. Uh, but I think, uh, and there's more f forums that are coming up to train people on how to package their music, on how to express themselves in their music, how to do the videos right, right. so that you don't, you can tell this is the good news, the gospel. It's not just any contemporary uh, video. Or is it that gospel musicians and people in the Christian music industry mm. find a lot more criticism because people expect you to live a certain way? Yes, that's also true. Um, I think it's just like when you're a pastor, mm -hmm. the joints you're not supposed to sh to be seen around. You're supposed to be perfect. <laughs> Kill like yes. you sour. You are. You live with God. You mm -hmm. dine with angels. <laughs> you, all those mm -hmm. things that are not real. Um, and I think also people need to realize gospel artists are human beings, mm -hmm. and human beings are different in every way so just receive somebody in their in their own unique way because everybody i can't sing like echo he's excellent yes. in what he does mm -hmm. i can't be him and he can't be me so we just receive each other as we are yeah would you say of all your music of, of all your art uh, of all your music yes all your singles and whatnot which is your mm. absolute favorite R right now my favorite has remained Nakota Zamiya. I love Nakota Zamiya. <laughs> really? Yes, I do. Wow, nice. And I have seen you perform it twice in different places. You don't know this, but yes. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> okay, no, I didn't know that. I have Not seen you. So you're going to perform it for us? Yeah. Go right ahead. Okay. Once again, DJ Jijo, who's um, our resident DJ for today. The Uwanja Water Niwako. Hi. <laughs> Hey, I want to 
Okay, excellent work. Musesi Sihaba on Facebook says yenye masiwerege na imba na roho yake yote. Amen. Hiyo song ya kimbilio langu imenigusa kabisa. Mm -hmm. And the, the comments are just going on and on and on. So appreciate your work and appreciate your ministry. Um, Fred Ngala says something that's maybe, I don't know how you want to answer this as a pastor. Yes. It's controversial. I thought the epistles of Paul are against women standing in the church, let alone preaching. Am I wrong? Yes. <laughs> Do you agree? He's wrong. Oh, he's wrong. Yes, because mm. he says the epistles say that women, it's wrong for women to stand. Yes. Um, we are in a different dispensation, and this is the, the dispensation of grace. And in the grace dispensation, there is no man or woman. When we come before God, we are all the same. So God has empowered women also as much as men. It doesn't change the institution of marriage mm -hmm. because the man is still the head. But as a woman, you are empowered to minister. You can minister. Before God, we are all the same. You see, even in the olden days, there are things women were not allowed to do. And we can still see that in some religions where women don't even enter the worship place sometimes and all that. And they have to cover their heads and stuff like that. I mean, uh, when, when we understand what time we're living in, then we know it's not about that. So women are allowed to speak the gospel, to preach. In fact, if God has used great people in this nation mm -hmm. and even in the world today, some of them are, are, are great women that God has used. Excellent. Moses Kimanthi says, I just love that um, girl. She has an angelic voice in her songs and her songs are spine tingling. Amen. Mungu amem tazamia. <laughs> We're back to finish up with it's been so awesome having you on the program. I've enjoyed myself. Really, really grand. And because we're lovers of live music, we're lovers of um, artists, so mm -hmm. do come back sometime again. Yes, I would love to. Excellent. Yes. Somebody says to say hi to you, um, an alumnus of Menengai. That's where I went to high school. Oh, really? Yes. Now we know. Somebody claims you used to hawk with them in Nakuru. <laughs> do you want to clear the air about that? Not sure where I used to hook, <laughs> but I used to do some shorty, shorty jobs, but not hooking. <laughs> you used to do some shorty, shorty jobs. Uh, what are some shorty, shorty jobs? Some, to be baru up and up, you're paid a few coins. Umetoka mbali? You keep going. 
if I, to, I was to start my story right now, I've come from very far. Give us highlights. We have <laughs> <laughs> Really? <laughs> Give us a very quick highlight of what you used to do then. Okay, and quick now. one. I was born in Akuru, mm -hmm. bred in a, in a ghetto setting, mm -hmm. uh, more like, you know, uh, the ghettos, but not the, more like the ghettos in the, you know, the non urban areas. Yes. Where everybody knows everybody and all that. Um, very humble beginnings. We, I had to do a lot to get here. Um, my family really worked hard for me to get here. So um, I would say I went to high school in Nakuru. Mm -hmm. I went to, I didn't go to college uh, immediately because mm -hmm. I had to wait for some time and I had to do some manual, not really manual jobs, but some jobs, photocopy, mm -hmm. you know those things. To try and make ends. Yes, so I was in a small kiosk that I, only I could fit inside. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. All right, that's serious. <laughs> it was like a kiosk. Only I could fit. My customers had to be outside, mm -hmm. and I would serve them from there. And that's what I used to do from Monday to Friday and over at, and over again. Mm -hmm. Until, you know, I came to Nairobi, took a hassle, <laughs> mm -hmm. and God just made a way for me to get into music, and that was, I think, almost the end of my hustle. So what did you study in college? Um, I did purchasing and supplies management. And then you never, did you ever practice, did you? Not even want to practice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't ask me why I did it. I think I did it because my dad had done the same thing. So right. I just kind of did it for him. So I hope he's proud. Then, you know, the certificates are with him probably. <laughs> Listen, stay with us because you're going to perform one more song, but I need to speak to DJ Jiju. You guy, you've had more fun on this show than anybody else. Yes, I have. I'm having a great, great time. Were you born DJ Jiju? No, no. I have an idea. Imagine I said Kali. Imagine I said Kali, George Mwagi. George Mwagi Kamau. Can I do this? Yes, you can. You can uh, let me just right. give me a minute. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do this I because I am the dumbest person ever. But I'll the baddest DJ in town. DJ Jiju assures me that I apparently can do this. Okay. All right. This is my initiation, people. Let's see how this goes. Okay. I want you to do this. I am supposed to do two things at the same time. Oh, I'm gonna be terrible at this. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> so I hold this. Yes, you hold that. Right. Softly. Softly. You don't hold it. Uh -huh. Then you. I have the stiffest hand. So wow, this is really cool. <laughs> Okay, hang on. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I nailed it. I'm so happy. I must say, I don't know which camera I'm on. I'm sure I'm here somewhere. Camera one, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your time. <laughs> thank you to DJ Gigi for coming through, man. You're welcome. Do come please. back another time. Yes, I will. Definitely. Um, my thanks also to Holly Dave. My thanks to Echo Dida. And my thanks to Daniel Awira. And I leave you with Masiwe Regi.
Jamina Jami na marafiki wakani toroka Coupe 